Pokemon is perhaps the most beloved video game franchise in the world. Not only has it been the best-selling series on every portable Nintendo console, it's straight up the highest grossing video game franchise ever. I've got such fond memories of sticking in the worm light and playing those early games. Pokemon Red was the first game that I got, but I was still a bit too much of a dumb baby at the time to understand what I was doing. It was Golden Sapphire where I really got into it. But enough about pro gamers like me. Because the maddest thing about Pokemon is its appeal outside of the usual gamer bubble. Everyone knows what Pokemon is. You know, I bet if you asked your grandma what a Stakatica is, she'll be able to tell you all about it, no problem. And it isn't just the games. It's crazy to think how many different mediums Pokemon has delved into. Pokemon movies, Pokemon cartoons, anime, trading cards, manga, Monopoly. Oh, remember Pokemon Go? Real life Pokemon stores and... Now this, this is what I'm interested in. It's always been a dream of mine to open up my very own Pokemon Cafe. A friendly place where people can relax, enjoy a hot cup of joe, catch up with old friends, tell jokes, all whilst being surrounded by your favourite Pokemon memorabilia. But what does it take to run a successful Pokemon Cafe? How do you work this thing? What's a Gengar's favourite drink? I suppose what I'm asking is, where will I get my training? Well, fear not, Pokemon fans, because the hot new game, Pokemon Cafe Mix, is now free to play on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, just look at this. How cute is this? This game has got to be amazing. So Pokemon Cafe Mix is a cute little puzzle game where you open up your own small cafe, make different foods and drinks, earn customers, and expand it with the money that you make. The tricky thing about the game is you have to get the exact amount of Pokemon heads requested by each customer. So you need to be careful when you're navigating your finger across the screen to make sure you don't touch the wrong heads or touch too many heads or too few. Ah, oh, looks like I've unlocked a new move. What we got here? Oh, ho ho. Oh, this is going to be a massive explosion, isn't it? A huge point bonus. Oh, get ready for this one. Here we go. Hey there, Charmander. Hope you're enjoying your pokey latte. <gasps> a golden acorn! Oh, these things are really valuable. Wow. Thanks, Charmander. So, do you remember this part of the video? The tricky thing about the game is you have to get the exact amount of Pokemon heads requested by each customer. Well, it turns out you don't actually have to be careful at all. You can just rag your finger all over the screen and you'll still get the points or whatever. Also, if you want to get the magic gems, acorns, um, you got to spend real money, you know. You know, you got to buy. you got to buy your success. <sighs> I don't think this... I don't think this cafe is going to be sustainable on its own, you know. I haven't really got the, the funds to be making these sort of investments, so. So. I think I'm done. Pokemon Cafe isn't really giving me the fulfillment I've been looking for. <sighs> I think this is it, guys. You know. I can make as many Poke Lattes as I like. I just don't think I'll be able to make it in this business spending some serious money, you know. <sighs> Might as well just call it a day. Give up on the dream. Oh, is that what I think that is? Here comes Woo! the money. Here we go. We're in business money now. Talks. We're Here in business now. Money, 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 money. Oh, I'm going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to be rich. Dalla, dalla. Woo! Dalla, dalla. Yeah. Fluffy whipped cream pancakes.